Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's say you're given these two points in this Cartesian plane I've drawn. I've labeled here a little bit of the drawing, and I'm going to try to label these ordered pairs over here. This looks like this is 4 and 2, and this is uh, negative 2 and negative 2. So these are the two points in question. And let's say we were asked to find the equation of the line that goes through to these two points. So if I were to connect these two points, that is like this, and I was asked to find the ordered pair, I was asked to find the line that goes to this ordered pairs, these two points like this, um, how would I go about doing that? So here's the line that goes through those two points, and I want the equation of this line of this linear function. Well, if you recall, there were three ways of writing equations of lines. So there was the standard form ax plus by is equal to c, then y is equal to mx plus b, the slope-intercept form, and the point-slope form like this. Okay, now the first thing is, okay, if you want the equation of this particular line, which form did you want it on? Did you want it, did you want it in the standard form? Did you want it in the slope-intercept form? And did you, or did you want it in the point uh, slope form? So we have to be told exactly which form we wanted to have it in. Okay, so nevertheless, the way you get this is the same uh, regardless of how you, in which form you want it to be. And this is perhaps one of the most important lectures in this particular topic, but because this knowledge occurs again and again, and we will need to know this for uh, um, uh, future classes in math. So this is a particularly important topic, finding equations of lines if you're given at two points or some information. But this particular scenario where, given, where you're given two points like this, we have x here uh, and y1, let's just say, and you're given another point, let's call this x2 and y2, and we were asked to find the equation of the line that goes through two points, there's a particular protocol, there's a particular methodology, particular steps that you would have to take. The first thing you would have to recognize is that you can find the equation of this line either in the slope-intersect form, y equals mx plus b form, or you can find it in the, uh, the, the point-slope form, y minus y1 equals to slope times the quantity x minus x1 form. You cannot find it in the, um, in the standard form. So if you wanted to find the, the, uh, the equation of the line in the standard form, first you would have to find it in one of these forms and then convert it or manipulate it uh, into the standard form like this. So you go, you find it in here, and then you change these forms and manipulate the equations to look like that, where the x and y are on the same side and the constant term is on the other side. So the way to find the equation of line is first either to find it in the slope-intercept form like this, or to find it in the point slope form and if you want it to uh, in the standard form either you convert the point slope form to the standard form or you convert the slope intercept form to the standard form so that's how you do that so the first or thing to appreciate is that if you are given any two points like this and if you wanted to find the equation of the line that goes through two points you can either find it in the slope intercept form or the point slope form and if you want it in standard form, you can do it. You can find these first and then convert that into the standard form. So that's very, very important to understand. Then you must understand in finding the, the uh, uh, equation of the line, e either in the slope intercept form or in the point slope form, there are two steps. Step one, and then there's a step two. And then here also there's step one, and then there's step two. And that's easy enough, okay? So what are these two steps, would you say? Well, if you wanted to find the, the, uh, the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form, the first step is to find the slope. Ta-da! And the second step is to find the intercept, the y-intercept. That's easy enough to appreciate, I think. So step number one would be to find the slope. And the step number two here would be to find the y-intercept, find b. So that makes sense. Find slope, find uh, the y-intercept, and then you're done. Then the in the point-slope form, it's very similar. The first step is finding the slope. That's over here. 
Now the second step is pretty easy. You basically, I you know, I, I like to tell my students that you know there is no second step here. Basically, you enjoy because you need to find a point. So point slope form. See, okay, you're given a point. Ha! Huh, either this one or this one, and you need the slope. And once you find the slope, you can use either one of these two points to just plug it in. So, so basically, it means use the point that's given to you. Use the point given. And you're done. You don't need to do any work because you use one of the points. So this particular cartoon drawing that I have before you is very, very important. One of the most important concepts that you need to appreciate. That is, if you're given two points, and if you wanted the, the equation of the line that goes through those two points, you have to do you have to use this methodology. You can find the equation of the line in the slope intercept form or the point slope form. If you want it in standard form, you can find it in either of these days, either of these two um, uh, uh, ways, and then convert the answer into the standard form like this. Now, here we're not told in this particular scenario of this particular point which form to find it in. So we're going to try to find it in all three of these forms. Okay, so we're going to try to find it in the slope intercept form, the point slope form, and the standard form. So we're giving those two points, we're going to find the equation of the line that goes through those two points in all three forms, inshallah. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to write these two points, the two, four, that's that one here. Let's give these points uh, some names. Let's call this one A. And let's call this one B. So here's point A, and I've written point B here, negative 2 and negative 2. Now, I'm going to first find this equation of this line in the slope-intercept form. So if you recall, the the way we define the equation is that uh, there's two-step process. We have to find the slope, and then we have to find the y-intercept, right? So that's why I'm going to. So I'm going to find the equation of this line first in the slope intercept form that is it's in the y equals mx plus b form and the step one number one uh, if step one if you recall was to find the slope you can't get away uh, with uh, without not finding the slope for both of these steps like over here if you have to find the slope okay so you have to find the slope okay the slope is changing y over changing x so that's y2 minus y1, that's negative 2, I'm going to call that y2, well, I hit y2 minus y1 over x2, that's negative 2, minus x1, that's x2 and x1, y2, this is y2, y1, x2, and x1, so I got that. So I have y2 minus y1, I'm double checking my work, x2 minus x1, that seems pretty good, that's negative 6 over negative 4 and I can simplify this negative and negative will be positive and the positive slope is 3 over 2 I ta -da. so once I have found the slope so I can I, I can substitute this slope here into the equation that I'm trying to get so now I can say well at least I know the slope so the equation now is going to be y is going to equal to the slope which is 3 over 2 Okay, that's the slope 3 over 2x uh, plus b. So once I find the slope, I can substitute that in place of the slope, can't I? Because I know now what that is. So now I know the slope. And step two, if you recall, was to find the y-intercept. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, the way I do that is um, I use my working equation here, what I know of the line so far. And I take either of these two points, either I take this one or I take this one, and I substitute them. So I, I take this one and substitute in this equation, or I take this one and substitute it in that equation, in place of x and y, of course, and then I solve for b. So again, what I do is I substitute either one of these points. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to pick this one. I'll tell you why. Because I don't like to work with negative numbers. Why tempt myself to make a mistake? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to just use these nice positive numbers and substitute them and, uh, uh, and try to find B. So I'm going to put 2 in place for X and 4 in place for Y. Be careful because sometimes students, what they do is uh, 2 comes first, so they put it in Y. 4 comes second, so they put it in X. No, 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 no. You have to put the 
x in its x place and y in the y place. So I'm going to put uh, the 2 in place of x and 4 in place of the y. So 4 is y, and then the slope is 3 over 2, right? So the slope is 3 over 2, and the x is 2. So I'm going to put that over here and plus b. So I have my uh, plus b over here like this. There we go. So I substituted this point in the working equation. So this is my working equation. I found the slope. I put it in there. I'm just trying to find the b. Now I'm going to just have to solve this for b. Well, this is easy. You're going to simplify here. So I'm, I'm going to get 4 is equal to 3 plus b. And then I'm going to subtract uh, 3 from both sides. And I'm going to get b is equal to minus 3 from here, minus 3 from here is equal to 1. I'm going to assume, hopefully, that you're able to solve that simple equation so that b is equal to 1. Now I found the b. Ta-da! What do I do now? Well, well, I put the b in the equation and I'm done. So I substitute this in place of this equa of the b and I have my equation. So now I have uh, y is equal to 3 over 2x and b I found to be 1. There it is. That's the equation of mine. In fact, I'm so proud of it, I'm just going to put it right over here uh, on the line. y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 1. That's the equation of my line. So I find the slope, and I put that in the equation, and then I find the b by using any one of the two points. If you use this point instead of this point, you should get the same answer for b because... Uh, it should work out it's the same line. So that's how you use this to find the equation of the line in the slope intercept form. So let me just write, do it here. y is equal to 3 over 2x plus b is 1. So that's I did that. Now if you wanted to find it in the point slope form, if you remember like over here, that was like y minus y1 is equal to, sorry, y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1 uh, you can do that too. And the first step, of course, was the same thing. Okay, the first step was the same thing. That is, you had to find uh, the slope. You can't get away without finding, so you, from finding the slope. So you have to see the first step is the same in both of them. You have to find the slope. Well, we kind of did this over here. You know, I don't have to duplicate my work. But if you were going to do it this way, you don't have to do this. Either way, you can calculate the slope change in y over change in x. And you're going to get that to be 3 over 2, just like we got it over here. Okay, now what do we do? Well, the second step, if you remember, was like super easy because you just kind of like enjoy. Because this is the point-slope form. In the point-slope form, you just take a point and you got, all you need is a point and it's on the line and, and the slope. And you got it. You're already given not just one point, you're given two points. So we substitute any one of these points. So y minus, I'm going to use the proper, the different color over here. And uh, uh, let's use uh, let's use this color so I can say y minus y1 4 is equal to the slope times x minus x1 over here. There you go too. I use that point. If I use this point instead of the other point, it would be the same. It's same. It's the same line, but a different equation for the same line. Y minus y1 in this case is negative two equals the slope times x minus x1 in this case that's minus minus 2 over here now you can simplify this a little bit and go like that and but that's still the same line okay if you wanted to write it simplistically uh, you would say y plus 2 is equal to 3 over 2 and x plus 2 by going like that okay so now now we came up with not two but two equations of line over here this one and this one using these two different points but that's cool you can use either one of them so there's more than one way of writing the equation of the line right so here it is so that's how you find the equation of the line so uh, i'm going to make this a little simpler for us so we just need to find one equation so i'm just going to use one point and that's it why make life harder than it needs to be right because it's plenty hard as it is so here's enjoy it means you just use one of the point that's given. Use one point and just substitute in there. So I use this point and then substitute it in this y minus 4 equals 3 over 2 and then x minus 2. And I have done it. So I have this equation here and this equation over here. Now if you wanted to find the equation in the standard form you have to use this and this and convert it into the standard form. Okay. So the best thing to do here is to take this form and convert it to standard form. What does that mean? 
Well, in the standard forms, AX plus BY is equal to C, you notice that X and Y are both on the same side. They teamed up together, and the constant term is like on the other side. So all I have to do to bring the equation to standard form is to I have to bring the X and Y together and have the constant term all by itself. So I can take this, let me just rewrite that over here. So I have Y is equal to 3 over 2X plus 1. I just have to bring the X on this side, and I do that by subtracting minus 3 over 2 from both sides like this. 3 over 2x like that. That will cancel each other out. I have minus 3 over 2x plus y is equal to 1. And I'm done. That's it. That's in the standard form. Now you might not like the fraction over here, but I'm okay with it. I don't, have less than, I don't have to worry about it. So, so minus 3 over 2x plus y is equal to 1. So that is the standard form. And this is the slope-intercept form that we found and this is the point slope form. So, and that's how it's done. Okay? So, as a review, the way we find equations of lines, if you're given two points, is you can do it either in the slope uh, uh, intercept form or the point slope form. And there are two steps only. I mean, it can't be really that hard. Right? The first step is the same for both of them, finding the slope. And then the uh, first step. The first step in this form is uh, finding the uh, the y-intercept. Uh, the second step in this form is finding the y-intercept. And here, once you find the slope, you just use one of the points and substitute it and basically enjoy you're done. If you want it in standard form, you have to first find it in one of these two forms and then convert it into the standard form. I hope you appreciate. Until next time, as-salatu wassalamu alaykum.